So, question, just because I've seen you before like a couple of times, how often would, are you down at bus station, do you think? <laughs> no, no, how often? Not what time, but how often? How many days a week? There's seven days in a week. How many days? Five out of seven. Is that about right? Yeah. And when you come down here, is it just to use a bus or do you like meeting your mates here and stuff like that? None of us none of us even get buses really. I get a bus to college and back and then I've never It's a central meeting point, that's what it is. It is. I think we should do it somewhere else. And the problem is though, do it somewhere, it's fine, it's all quiet and down. It's alright saying it. It's actually doing it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not going to chill around somewhere else. Yeah, but Craig, through the summer. I'm not going to no, chill around somewhere else. Because you'd be building up. Yeah. I am anyway. Go Craig, you say. know, through the summer we all bugger off in the yeah. Marble and stuff. Yeah. But it's when it gets cold, there's nowhere for us to go. There's nothing to do. We had oh. the same debate last well, winter. Yeah. That yeah. There's yeah. nothing for us to do. You know the Why is it that drugs is so important in your group, in nah, your friendship group? Because we all, we all do drugs and we have no else to do, man. Do you, do you lead each other on, or did you all start at the same time? No, I started at uh, the time of your... Me and Kyle started in like year five and six. No, I started like year ten or something. Yeah, I started like... Started like, smoking weed in like started year Started smoking three. weed in year eight, and then... <laughs> started smoking in year nine, it? Same proportion. 80%. So, Craig... 80% of young people at the bus station are on well, drugs. Yeah. What do you think to it's that? It's about right, 80% of them are on drugs. Oh, oh, on drugs, yeah. Saying that? <laughs> no, no, no. There are some good lads. There are some cheeky little ones and there are some good ones. Mm -hmm. Some cheeky little ones. <laughs> and some good ones. And some good ones. And what do you guys... Oh, okay. No, no, I didn't say you were. But <laughs> you know, there's some good lads and there is a few that do get the stigma of being on drugs and doing drugs and... Mm -hmm. And that because they hang around with the ones that do. <laughs> do you want to just tell us sort of how old you are and where you're from? Uh, I'm 20 and I'm from Birkenshaw, so just over that way. Yeah. I'm uh, 20 and I'm from Cocky and I'm from down there. Yeah. I'm 21 and I'm from Cocky. I see. Nice one, nice one. When they see a bunch of these guys who aren't necessarily on drugs hanging about with the ones who are, what perception does that give? Well, it gives them that we're all on drugs. Yeah, and you're all out to cause a bit of trouble. Yeah, it seems like that, but we're not. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you lot think that you're a nuisance to Metro, or do you think they're not bothered by you? No, they're not The bus station? Yeah, until people start nicking from job and get caught. And is, uh, don't mention any names, but is, is that people from within your group? Yeah. Right, if one of you uh, commits, like, uh, robbery, yeah? Uh, Say Rob something. Do you think you deserve to get trouble for it? Yeah. Obviously you don't want to, but do you think it's deserved? No. No. If you be totally honest, do you think so or not? Yeah, obviously. Well, fuck it. Yeah. There's nothing to do. There's yeah. nothing for him to do. Mm -hmm. And the, the thing is, it, yeah. there's never been anything for anybody to do. We just we just dealt with that in a different way to how they're doing it. And I think the way that we used to deal with that was better and Granted, you know, there's a lot of things that I did that I think were stupid now, and I think, you know, I must look like a right little prat then, basically. Yeah. Uh, obviously, so, you know, there's only so much you can you can say about it without being an hypocrite, but I, I genuinely do think that that we were, you know, more respectful than they are a lot mm. of the time. So, legalise, big thing. Yeah. Legalise, but also drugs in general. Right. When, you, Like five years ago, when you were their age, yeah. was it just as much happening? When I were younger, and when I were maybe 15, 16, finishing school, starting college, we used to, it was more, more of getting a bottle of cider and having it, yeah, and getting pissed up in a, get, street get, get, get pissed up in a, in a street, on, on the street somewhere, but still out of way, yeah. or like in a forest somewhere, yeah. some, some no weird, smoking. something weird like that. When we I left school, there was no smoking, my dad. We used to smoke, we used to smoke bits of weed here and there when we were like 16, but they were no, legalised, we were completely unheard yeah. of. Yeah. We used yeah. to... Get people to go to the shop for us for fags, get people to get all get some weed for us, but that were about it. And we never ever used to smoke it down there, and we never used to take it anywhere where we thought anybody outside our group of friends would ever see it, mm. solely for the fact that we thought we could just end up getting nicked or we could end up with some other. So, why have things changed? Why is it different now, do you think? Not for you, but for the new 
generation. That's it, that's it. Yeah, you've got less respect. Yeah, plus that's I think, it. Plus I, I honestly think that is it. That it's been respect. more sort of publicised and glamorised. People just aren't bothered anymore. What do you think the public, general public, who's bus station? Do you think the bother by you? Or do you, what, what do you think they think of you? I don't know, really. Well, we sort of know because we done, we we had some surveys <laughs> done <laughs> about what adults yeah, think totally of young people in bus station. What did they say? On a scale of very safe to very unsafe, how do you think they felt when they were around you a lot? <laughs> yeah, very safe. Yeah. You're nearly right. We said safe. I'm not trying to say everybody who comes down yeah, is yeah. like that because I okay. know full obviously. well that they're not. Okay. But obviously, when you see something really bad and you see something really good, the thing that you mentioned first is always going to be the bad thing. You know? and, uh, and the thing is, obviously, if you're somebody like me or, or Callum or, you know, or, or whoever who comes around here you know, relatively often but not all the time, yeah. um, obviously you are yeah, here yeah. every day, when, when we come through here on the rare occasions that we do or when we sit down here, you know, you know, like I say, on the rare occasions that we do, um, we, that's all we see basically. We yeah, just see the young kids being cheeky, giving you dodgy looks. The thing is, you walk past them and they just look at you like you're, a, mm. you know, like you're an idiot. And I'm, mm. I just feel like I turn around and saying to them, mm. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm mm. a lot older than you, why are you being mm. such a you know, shit? So that's, see, that's my I'm, problem I'm, a lot of the time I do. Yeah. I know, I know full well. Yeah. Yeah. I know. We don't ever bother people unless they bother us, innit? One of the first things they said to us, um, was we, we don't bring anyone any trouble only if trouble comes our way do you think that's accurate uh, is that um, is that fair or is it unfair it, what? it is fair it is fair because I've never actually seen them go actively go out of the way to hurt anybody in fairness to them and to their friends um, I've never once seen any of them be violent or hurt anybody or do any damage I've seen them litter here and there which is obviously piss annoying but other than that never really seen them do anything that would particularly hurt anybody else or cause any sort of you know damage to anybody which is fair enough but at the same time the I've fact that they aren't violent yeah. doesn't make up for the fact that they do do what they do yeah. in front of the people that they do do it for more well, I agree regardless of the fact they're not violent it is still antisocial behaviour in my eyes why do you think some young people here at Clarkey and get banned from station because they smoke legals people outside People get busing. banned from the bus okay. station because they smoke legals and they all carry on with the security guards. Okay. Tell, so what happens? I think people get judged too quickly and that's what happens. You know, I don't know what they say on do to, to security guards, but I've seen I've seen security guards lose their rag with them yeah. and have to get yeah, any of the tevering to basically tell them to sling their hooks sort of mm -hmm. thing. I'm glad you've said that because when we were doing the surveys and speaking to the general public and adults, they actually support what you've just said, yeah. that they, 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 they don't see no trouble from them, they don't give no hassle, and the yeah. only real major issues or any any ill feeling that they've got yeah. is actually with the security itself. Yeah. I'll tell now, you, I'll the, tell I think you the relationship there may be a little bit strange. 